research we try to uh, explore here at the BCBL was to uh, ask the question, when we know a word, does that mean that the word is part of our language system that we would use every day in our conversation, or does it take more for that new sequence of sounds to be operational in our brain, in our mind, and in the way we interact with one another? So, in this research, we just used purely uh, behavioral measures involving people to learn new words, and we wanted to see whether those words would be available directly to their consciousness when they hear speech, that is um, a metaphor about conversation with another people, and see whether those words would be attracting their attention right away. There is something special about this uh, setting, is the fact that memory doesn't stop once we have learned the word, but it carries on afterwards. Things are being chewed on, things are being changed over time, and according to certain conditions. For instance, sleep. And in this experiment, we looked at sleep. We asked people to learn new words one day, and then we looked at whether those words were impacting on the way they perceive speech right away, or whether this would take a long time for those new words to be in their mind while they hear speech. And actually what we found is that the words were very well learned by the participants. We were presenting them with the words very, very intensely on the first day. But as far as they could hear speech, there was no trace that the new words were there, ready, available in memory, to be uh, recognized in the speech signal. However, we asked them to come uh, Next, the next day, and it was completely changed. These new words were there attracting attention, that is, they were uh, gaining some competition uh, to, to, to access consciousness. And so it seems that s sleep, per se, has something special about the way he, it's modifying memory, especially for the case of words. It seems that sleep makes words more real. They create or they enhance the memory trace for the words and make them more available to consciousness. So it seems that we can, we can think about it in a, in a sort of two-way system. Right away we learn the words, we know that they are part of our, our history, we know these sequences of sounds, but it seems that we need to sleep for those words to be part of our language system. In a way, sleep makes words real. <laughs>